Breaking news. Russia tensions soar as Putin's submarines in the Atlantic, U.S. warship deployed. Vladimir Putin is flexing his military might in the Atlantic deploying high-tech submarines at a pace not seen since the Cold War as the U.S. orders one of its fiercest warships to patrol the area. According to Admiral James Falgo, commander of U.S. naval forces Europe and Africa, Russia is deploying more submarines to the Mediterranean, Black Sea and North Atlantic than ever since the end of the Cold War. Moscow has also upgraded its submarine forces and missile capabilities, the Navy's top commander added. Russia is building this growing force in the Atlantic to be prepared for any future clash with NATO countries, according to Mr. Fago. The Admiral had already warned about Russia's presence in the pond in 2016, when he said, Russian submarines are prowling the Atlantic, testing our defenses, confronting our command of the seas and preparing the complex underwater battle space to give them an edge in any future conflict. Not only have Russia's actions and capabilities increased in alarming and confrontational ways, its national security policy is aimed at challenging the United States and its NATO allies and partners. This growing show of strength comes amid the deployment of USS Harry S. Truman, which according to a report from the United States Naval Institute, OSNI moved earlier this week from the Mediterranean Sea to patrol the Atlantic Ocean. The 8th Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy is one of the most powerful U.S. warships, used for both deterrence, counterterrorism and sea control purposes. Commander John Perkins, a spokesman with U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa, didn't explain the reason why the warship moved to the Atlantic. But he confirmed it will work in support of NATO telling us any news, as a matter of long-standing policy, we do not discuss future operations, but I can tell you that the Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group will continue to conduct operations in support of our NATO allies, European and African partner nations, coalition partners, and U.S. national security interests. The transfer of the USS Truman followed the one of Washup USS Iwo Jima which entered in the Persian Gulf after being absent in the area for two and a half months. A Navy official also told Disney News, the Navy is making deliberate prioritization of decisions in accordance with the national defense strategy which may disrupt the business as usual. We must prioritize lethality, deterrence capability, training and readiness of the defined fighting unit, and will ensure the mission is met with the right capability and platform. Russia has already showed its strength and growing capabilities to harm its targets in 2014, during the annexation of Crimea, and since its involvement in the Syria's war. Admiral Fago said, the illegal annexation of Crimea, that certainly has put a strain on our relationship. It's their bad behavior, not ours. It's the things they are doing. We have seen the caliber of missile launches from their platforms into targets in Syria. It is a very capable weapon system.